I don't mind how I'm holding the mic. I am scared of my for my life next to Jante Villiers. He assaulted me on Super Saturday. I bought a bodyguard though to make sure that I'm well taken care of. I'm gonna start with him because he's a nice guy. Uh, Scott Burger, you're loving the cricket, no doubt. No problem. And this is what cricket season is all about. I know it's a bit weird nowadays. We've got the European Rugby Championship going on, which is unlike what we're used to. But, I mean, how beautiful is Newlands looking today? We're in the Western Cape in January. It is cricket season. I mean, we're used to watching rugby games. So cricket games are getting a little bit longer for what we're used to. But besides the viewer fatigue, amazing being out there. Yeah, amazing being out here. I'm also just happy to be here and join you guys for this lovely cricket game. I'm supporting the Paul Royals. I know, I know there wasn't a question, but I'm supporting them. He assaulted me on TV, this guy. We still got beef, but I love him anyway. You know what I mean? You're a cricket lover. You love the game. How special has it been to see not only a full stadium, but this is almost a perfect day to play cricket. It is a perfect day. You know, I think this time of the year in Cape Town, you do get some special days weather-wise. And um, it's just lucky to see a you know a competition, a cricket competition like this in South Africa with all the local talent, but then with all the superstars from overseas as well. So we saw a little bit of Josh Butler, we saw a little bit of Davy Miller. Um, you know now they have to go out and and bowl. You know, Devil Brevis, baby AB. Let's see if he can hit some, you know, make some runs today. So it's it's pretty cool. Something happened a little bit earlier, and I spoke with Victor Matfield. He said if he was in the auction, he was going to go for 7.2 million rand. Do you agree and what would you have gone for? Yeah, that's probably the number, he's, that's the amount of debt he's got. He needs 7.2 million to come out the other side. I'm just joking. No, I've got absolutely no idea. Eh? You know, when we were around, I mean, me and John's first love, that's where we met was cricket. Uh, we were opening batting partners together, but um, not too sure if I'm good as these guys. I saw Jofra Archer bowl just now. I mean, he would take my head clean off. You, John, you would have fancied yourself in the auction? No, not at all. I, I, w I won't even buy myself. <laughs> but like Skog said, I mean, you asked earlier, you know, we are cricket lovers. And that's where, you know, that's where we met. Our first sporting memories were, um, you know, playing cricket together for our first team at school. We never played rugby together at school. So every time we get the opportunity to watch cricket again, to, to get asked to play or anything like that, you know, we always, we always um, enjoy those moments. So to be here and just to see these guys at their best is, is pretty, pretty special. Lastly. And I'm going to ask you guys to be honest here. What was the highest partnership you guys had together as opening pair? 173. Ah, I must go check those, those record books. Yeah. Is that true? Look, every year you get older, it gets bigger. So I'm going to go for 183. <laughs> Cut! They are lying out here. But nonetheless, we're loving the best way SA20. <laughs>